So Yemen's conflict. Nearly 10, uh, well, actually, I, I would say probably at least 10,000 human beings are dead right now as a consequence of the civil war in Yemen and, and Saudi Arabia's involvement in it. And millions of people right now are on the brink of starvation. The largest cholera epidemic, the largest cholera outbreak in the world is happening right now in Yemen. The Saudis, uh, you know, the aid agencies are trying to get food into Yemen, and the Saudis are bombing the ports that you bring food into. So, you know, all of this really started back in 2011 with the Arab Spring, when all these, these farmers were pushed off their land in the northern parts of Saudi Arabia, or excuse me, of, uh, of, of uh, Sudan, of Libya, um, you know, right across the region, essentially. Farmers pushed off their, off their land, and as a result, you know, A, you've got more homeless people in the cities, and B, the price of wheat goes up. The price of wheat goes up. Kid sets, catch, catch, you know, lights himself on fire in, in Tunisia, and we're off to the races. So as the Arab Spring spread across northern Africa, and, and the Obama administration was encouraging this, and, I'm, and I don't mean that as a knock on them. The, you know, we thought at the time, this is a good thing. This is a movement toward democracy. That's what it looked like. It's not how it turned out, but that's, how, that's what it looked like. What it actually was, was climate refugees. And we failed to recognize it for what it was. But anyhow, the, the president of Yemen was a guy named uh, Ali Abdullah Saleh, S-A-L-E-H. And when the Arab Spring happened in Yemen, and the people rose up and said, this guy's corrupt, he needs to leave. He said, okay, cool, I'm out of here. And he handed the reins of government over to his number two guy, whose name was uh, Abraduba Mansur Hadi. So Sali turns power over to Hadi. Now, Hadi was supposed to be a good guy who was going to make Yemen you know, a nice, stable country. But he couldn't do it. I mean, the, the corruption was insane. Yemen was suffering from the same climate refugee problem that Syria was and Libya was and, and Tunisia was. It's, uh, it's food insecurity. And then on top of that, you had a bunch of military officers who were actually loyal to Saleh, the president who had to leave. I mean, he was part of his corruption was paying off his own military. So in 2014, some Shia Muslim uh, Houthis said, you know, enough of this stuff. And they rose up. They said, you know, we don't like the number two guy either. You know, it was kind of an extension of the Arab Spring. We don't like Mr. Hadi. And they literally captured the capital, Sana'a, the capital of Yemen, which they still hold, by the way. And Mr. Hadi had to flee. He's outside the country. And so Saudi Arabia then says, oh, well, we can't have this. Yemen is going to end up under the control of, of uh, Shia Muslims. And so they start bombing the crap out of Yemen. Saying, you know, we're going to bomb you Houthis, you rebels, until you surrender. Well, the Houthis haven't surrendered. Twenty-two and a half million people, uh, three quarters of the population right now, are at risk of starvation in Yemen. 400,000 children under the age of five on the verge of death. And Saudi Arabia is continuing to bomb the crap out of them. They fight back and we're supposed to declare war?